Welcome to the 14th day of our Bible reading. Today we are reading from Exodus chapter 16 to chapter 20. And we will get in, into it very fast today. Chapter 16. Now, in the last in the last part, the children of Israelites were led out of Egypt by strong hand uh, by strong hand. The Lord added Pharaoh's heart, and after many attempts, after many conviction by by Moses and Aaron, he did not allow, he did not allow the Israelites to live until God decided to kill all the firstborns in Egypt. That was when Pharaoh allowed the children of Israel to go. And after that, you see, it was like, how did we let the children of Israel go? And he chased after them to capture them again. But they all perished into the Red Sea. Now we are continuing from chapter 16 to chapter 20 today. And chapter 16, bread from heaven. And the journey from Elim and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after they departed from the land of Egypt. Then the whole congregation of the children of Israel complained about Moses against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And children of Israel said to them, Oh, that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. When we sat by the pots of meat, and when we ate bread to the full, for you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven to you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain quarter every day, that I may test them, whether they will walk in my law or not. And it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare what they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Then Moses and Aaron said to all the children of Israel, At evening you shall know that the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, for he hears you, your complaints against the Lord. But what are we that we, that you complain against us? Also Moses said, This shall be seen when the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and in, and in the morning bread to the full. To the full. For the Lord hears your complaints, which you make against him. And what are we? Your complaints are not against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses spoke to Aaron, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard your complaints. Now it came to pass, as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared. In the cloud and the Lord spoke to Moses saying I have heard the complaints of the children of Israel speak to them saying at twilight you shall eat meat and in the morning you shall be filled with bread and you shall know that I am the Lord your God so it was that clothes came up at evening and covered the camp and in the morning the dew lay all around the camp and when the layer of dew lifted there on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance as fine as frost on the ground. So when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need. One omer for each person. According to the numbers of persons, let every man take for those who are in his tent. Then the children of Israel did so and gathered, and gathered some more, some less. So when they measured it by Omas, he who gathered much had nothing left over, and he who gathered little had no lack. Every man had gathered according to each one's need. And Moses said, Let no one leave any of it till morning. Notwithstanding, they did not eat Moses, but some of them left part of it until morning, and its bread warms and stank. And Moses was angry with them, so they gathered it every morning, eat every man according to his need. And when the sun became hot, it melted. And so it was on the sixth day that they gathered twice as much bread, two omers 
for each one. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. Then he said to them, This is what the Lord has said. Tomorrow is a Sabbath rest, a holy Sabbath to the Lord. Bake what you will bake today, and boil what you will boil. And lay up for yourselves all that remains to be kept until morning. So they laid it up till morning, as Moses commanded, and it, is, and it did not stink. Nor were there any worms in it. Then Moses said, Eat that today, for today is a Sabbath to the Lord. Therefore, today you will not find you will not find it in the field. Six days you shall gather it, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath, there will be none. Now it came now it happened that some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather, but they found none. And the Lord said to Moses, How long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my laws? See, for the Lord has given you the Sabbath. Therefore, he gives you on the sixth day bread for three days. Let every man remain in his place. Let no, one, let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day, and the house of Esau called its name manna, and it was like white coriander seed, and the taste of it was like wafer made with honey. Then Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Fill an omer with it. To be, to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread with which I fed you in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. And Moses said to Aaron, Take a pot and put an omer of manna in it and lay it before the Lord to be kept for your generations, as the Lord commanded Moses. So Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Israel ate manna forty years until they came to an inhabited land, they ate man until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. Now an omer is one tenth of an ephah. Chapter 17 Water from the Rock. Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sin, according to the commandments of the Lord, and camped in Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people, and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod, which, with which you struck the river, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Oreb, and you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah because of the contention of the children of Israel and because they contempted and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Now Amalek came and fought with Israel in Rephidim, and Moses said to Judah, Choose us some men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua, so Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, and Moses, Aaron and Or went up to the top of the hill. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hand became heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it. And Aaron and Or supported his hands, one on one side, <laughs> and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and its people with the edge of the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called its name.
the Lord is my banner. For he said, because the Lord has sworn, the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. The Lord is my banner. Chapter 18. And Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, that the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Sipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back with her two sons, of whom the name of one was Gershom, for he said, I have been a stranger in a foreign land. And the name of the other was Eliezer, for he said, The God of my father was my help, and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife to Moses in the wilderness, where he was encamped at the mountain of God. Now he had said to Moses, I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons with her. So Moses went out to meet his father-in-law, bowed down and kissed him, and they asked and they asked about each other, and they asked each, each other about their well-being. And they went into the tent. And Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake. All the hardship that had come upon them on the way, and all the Lord had delivered them. Then Jethro rejoiced for all the good which the Lord had done for Israel, whom he had delivered out of the, out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord, who has delivered you out of the hand of the, of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh, and who has delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all the gods, for in the very thing in which they behaved proudly, he was above them. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and offered sacrifices to offer and then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and other sacrifices to offer to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. And so it was on the next day that Moses started to judge the people. And the people stood before Moses from morning until evening. So when Moses' father-in-law saw that all that he did, saw all that he did for the people, he said, What is this thing? That you are doing for the people. Why do you alone sit and all the people stand before you from morning until evening? And Moses said to his father in law, Because the people came to me to inquire of God. When they have a difficulty, they come to me and I judge between one and, all, and another. And I make known the statutes of God and his laws. And his laws. So Moses' father in law said to him, The thing that you do, is not good. Both you and these people who are with you will surely wear yourselves out, for this thing is too much for you. You are not able to perform it by yourself. Listen now to my voice. I will give you counsel, and God will be with you. Stand before God for the people, so that you may bring the difficulties to God, and you shall teach them the statutes and the laws, and show them the way in which they must work, and the work which and the work they must do. Moreover, you shall select from all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, rule and rulers of tens, and let them judge the people at all times. Then it will be that every great matter they shall bring to you, but every small matter they themselves shall judge, so it will be easier for you, for they will bear the burden with you. If you do this thing, and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure, and all these people will also go to their place in peace. So Moses heeded the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over all the people over the people. 
rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. So they judged the people at all times. The hard cases they brought to Moses, but they judged every small case themselves. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way to his own land. Chapter 19 Israel at Mount Sinai In the third month after the children of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt, on the same day they came to the wilderness of Sinai, for they had departed from Rephidim. For they had departed from Rephidim, had come to the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. So Israel camped there before the mountain. And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you an eagle's wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people for all the earth is mine and you shall be and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which you shall speak to the children of israel so moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before them all these words which the lord commanded him then all the people answered together and said all that the lord has spoken we will do so Moses brought back the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I come to you in the thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever. So Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down upon, upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set bounds for the people all around, saying, Take it to yourselves that you do not go up to the mountain or touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. No, not a hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned or shot with an arrow, whether man or beast. He shall not live. When the trumpet sounds, when the trumpet sounds long, then shall they shall come near the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not come near your wives. Then it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunderings and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain and on the sound and the sound of the trumpet was very loud so that all the people who were in the camp trembled and Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet with God and they stood at the foot of the mountain now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace and the whole mountain quaked greatly and when the blast of the trumpet sounded long and became louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him by voice. Then the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain, and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountains. And Moses went up, and the Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest they break through, the, lest they break through to gaze at the Lord, and many of them perish. Also, let the priests who come near the Lord consecrate themselves. Let the Lord break out against them. But Moses, let the Lord break down against, break out against them. But Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for you warned us, saying, Set bounds around the mountains and consecrate it. Then the Lord said to him, Away, get down, and then come up, you and Aaron with you. But do, not, but do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and spoke to them. Chapter 20, the Ten Commandments. Chapter 20, the last chapter. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 
you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Wait. Any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, you shall, you shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. But showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keeping and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is, with, who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth and the, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother that your days may belong upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. Now all the people with the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, and when the people saw it, they trembled and stood foul. Then they said to Moses, you speak with us, and we will hear. You speak with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, and that and that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, You have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall not make anything to be with me, gods of silver or gods of gold. You shall not make for yourself. An altar of earth you shall, you shall make for me, and you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. And if you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stone, for if you for if you use your tool on it, you have prevented it. Nor shall you go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness may not be exposed on it. Now I've come to the end of today's reading, and that was a powerful that was a powerful reading. The Lord gave the commandment to the children of Israel. The Lord God came down upon the earth, and the people, the uh, congregation of Israel, they saw the they saw the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord. The Lord came down in the fire, and there was smoke and every and dark smoke, thick and dark smoke. And Moses went up into the dark smoke to speak with the Lord, but the people were afraid because of the presence of the Lord, and they retreated. They retreated from the Mount Sinai, and God has laid His commandment. God has laid down His commandment and has given the people the commandment. Tomorrow we will continue from chapter twenty-one to chapter twenty-five. If Christ dies, I will see you there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like if you like. Dislike if you dislike. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post the next the next reading. 
god bless you thank you for supporting this channel by watching and yeah god will continue to win god will continue to win we'll continue to walk the work of god i will not i won't but walk the work of him who sent me i'm paraphrasing here <laughs> i can't i can not do the work of him who sent me when it is day because the night is coming when no one will be able to walk we'll keep moving forward in the work of god and god will always prevail satan will keep losing thank you very much for watching this video i love you guys bye